Oh, so this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's better than... It's better than looking at my phone. Come on. Oh, it was, uh, it was 30 bucks for the seed, 20 bucks for the bird feeder. Okay, come on. All right, all right. Oh, it's the cost of doing business. So uh, this is my new teardrop bird feeder. I intended to make this out of plywood. I went ahead and used old boxes to test out the design. And I'm going to see and see it inside with the wood, plywood, but I made it to a size you can laser cut it. Why? The upcoming season is coming for spring. People are going to want something unique. I was thinking about making something that would be a piece of art by itself, whether or not you could hang it, even if you didn't use it as a bird feeder, what would, what would look really, really cool? So instead of the 3D printed parts that I have, um, you can actually go ahead and these 3D printed pins, you can use wood dowels, you could use a natural stick, um, as I showed in the thumbnail, and you can uh, literally use pallet wood, whatever you want once you have the file. Uh, this hook that I designed was out of an old coat, coat hanger right here, and I just simply used these little clips here. Probably you should wear safety glasses when you do that. And I went ahead and glued all of this together, but if you use thicker plywood, you're not gonna have to. I designed this in Illustrator doing overlapping lines using the offset tool, and if you're interested in that, I have a full, longer tutorial link below, but I just wanted to talk to you about this new design that I have out, and I'm kind of wondering, I'm just wondering, will birds actually go into it? I did a bunch of research during the snowstorm, which I've linked the footage at the same exact time I published that footage at the same as this video, so if you're really interested in seeing some beautiful 4K footage of some birds, I went ahead and did some research there, trying to figure out what hole size would a bird actually go into. So the way that this uh, works is just the last thing that I'm gonna show you here in a little bit, um, and I'm hoping a bird actually ends up going, at least checks, checks this thing out, um, is there's I developed some pins, and you would just go ahead and use wood dowels. So at the end of the season, you would take this apart, this little hook here. I have the plans to make this little free hanger hook right here. You would take apart your design and it would, you would show the living quarters of the bird, clean it out for the next season. But maybe you want to make it out of cardboard and maybe you don't need the actual bird feeder to last. So soon, once you're ready to reassemble it, you use these little pins that I have the, the 3D printed file or you can just buy the little kit. Um, and this thing, these pins just go inside of here and they keep it all together. And all I have to do is put the hook back up and I can hang it up. But the question is, will a bird actually go inside of it? Anyways, Whatever you do, make something that connects someone. Peace.